Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4 with Morris. And at the end of the last part, we just finished Act 3. So, as you, as we know already, we got to watch the briefing for Act 4. Uh, but this isn't so bad. Because like I briefly mentioned at the end of the last part, this is... one. Of, do you have to sing over me, Sonny? Do you really have to sing and make eggs all the time? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is one of my uh, favorite acts, and it's just so clear why it's one of my favorite acts. Uh, gonna have a lot of fun with this one, I think. It's a beautiful song. Really appreciate it if you stop, though. You know, you can't have too much of a good thing, so stop singing forever. <laughs> oh man, that gecko still haunts me. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, Sonny. Somehow there's now a picture of Sonny and Naomi on the wall. Don't know who took that. But... We'll launch a stealth nuclear warhead at JD. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons. But the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. As soon as that is said, you already know what's Rex coming. Ready. All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm. Satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize... Hey, Articon, you want to get more of an upskirt shot than that? Jesus, wait, wait, wait. He doesn't need to move, but he does anyway. GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go! Prepare our haven. Now go! Yes. <laughs> but we're still floating down the river, so there's nowhere to go. What the devil is this? What magic is this? <laughs> Isn't there any more? The video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. I'm gonna miss the Mark II. Haven. Yeah. Revan was saying something about that. <laughs> yeah, Revan says a lot of things Revan don't mean. The system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but just now it's them wearing a jumper very similar to what's going around Slip inside the system. I like that. It's warm. I like this. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal Gear. Emma's worms. You remember Arsenal Gear? Metal Gear Solid. You remember that? But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. <coughs> Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. <coughs> Even on the network. <sighs> Free from oversight by the Patriots' AIs. It all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. There you go. Now MGS2 makes sense. 
Orders. That's it. You don't need to think about anything else. Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II last transmission to predict the course of liquid ship. I need ship. her to save my game, Monica. It's only a matter of time before we find him. Save my game. <laughs> Stop coughing. Uh, no, it's okay, Snake. I was like that last week. Something about Rex being ready. Rex. You mean Shadow Moses? It's Campbell. The U.S. military systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public. The president has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. <laughs> Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy related stocks are already going into a free fall. themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> in any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquids and And the rest of the world is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system the Patriots built to control the US. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains Supreme Authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <laughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD God knows what Sonny just did then. Them. And they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the Just old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed <coughs> the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... <clears throat> then what's his plan? <laughs> That's it. He's going to use Rex. Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. Oh, I can't believe it took us this long to figure it out. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de gras to the Bless Patriots' you. reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut, his monument, off the Alaskan coast. In the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD and his GW assumes total control over the system, 
he'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even... Oh man, I can't tell you how excited I was when I first saw this, you know? You are the only one. My pants felt like two sizes now. too small. I was so pumped for this part. <laughs> so uh, back I'll to Shadow Moses. You. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection. Is that the end of it? No, I didn't think that was the end of it. <laughs> Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Oh, don't say that. Things always get worse when you say that. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Argon. We never stood a chance. It's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this. Don't make me seek you, see you, because I will. No! Jack can't go. He's not ready yet. He, he needs to rest. Let me go, Sonny. No. Your dialysis isn't done yet. Yeah, you look really fit for action riding with that oxygen mask on. He's not ready yet. I got this. I'll be fine. Stop trying to be harder than you are. <laughs> it doesn't suit you. Excited for revengeance? I'm living. Nah, me neither, really. By my own <clears throat> will. Still gonna get it. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things that, you know, I'm not really excited for, but I don't want to miss it. I still want to be there when it all happens. It's weird. I hate those games. They're always really expensive. As long as you follow me, you'll never see the day. Wow, those alarm sounds you don't I don't sound good. <laughs> Are you sure you should be standing up? War. But once this is over, we will have our freedom. Run. I'll release you. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Run. Five years ago. That's not what I meant. I've got nothing to lose. Uh, don't be an idiot. Uh, Max Payne has nothing to no, lose. You've got someone to protect. <laughs> it was 
was never going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. You can still shine through the darkness. The lightning. God, I don't think Snake realizes what he just did. He just created a but sequel. Luckily. In that one line. That would wreck. <laughs> I only have half a face. Face. Call me Two Face. That's what they I have no future. In a few months, I'm going to be a weapon of mass destruction. You. You have a family. <laughs> I have no family. I have nothing. I have always been alone. I also refuse to believe that Sonny could ever move Raiden. <laughs> like, ro even rolling him over like that. I mean, think about how heavy he would be. Don't leave me here. Alone. He should just be like, yeah, Raiden, you can, you, yeah, sure, you can come and help, but you've got to walk by yourself. Because there's no way you'd be able to do it anyway, so. Dr. Emrick? Mei Ling. Save my game. Mei Ling. <laughs> I got the results oh. back. Ditch the accent. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal Which is fair enough. Way. But the ship was headed in the Ditch the accent for Twin Moses. Snakes, I think, actually. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. Looks good. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. God, it was like President of Arms Tech and the 13, Dark 14 Chief years ago now. And the Secretary <laughs> of Defense was arrested. I mean, if we're going off. Shadow Moses incident was over, there and the games came out. Person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nukes should still be where they were nine years ago, untouched. A forsaken island, a haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <clears throat> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. <coughs> it 
It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And why is not that far away? Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. I switched to contacts. <laughs> Wish I could switch to contacts. Well, I do like these new glasses. More modern. I don't know if fashion in glasses changed, but apparently it does. And I was like seven years out of date. To heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. Ah, uh, not with this again. I have to atone for my past, too. Rex is a beast, born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. Snake's already asleep. <laughs> Well, there you go. Shadow Moses awaits in the uh, in the next episode. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to pause it for there, guys. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching the, the mission briefing for Act 4. And join me for the next part, guys. It's going to be very interesting, this next act, you know. Well, you'll, you'll see why. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching again. And... I hope to, well, I hope to see you in the next episode, guys, and I will see you in a bit. See you later.